Hey, my name is Philip Cornish. I'm here with Guitar Center checking out the new Yamaha Modi X Plus. Over the past few years, you may have seen me most notably with Kanye West in Sunday Service, as well as on stage with Usher in the studio with Diddy, Demi Lovato, and many others. Currently, my two most frequently used boards happen to be the Yamaha Modi X8 and the Yamaha Montage. They serve two different purposes. The Montage 8 is definitely for my high-powered stuff, you know, big shows. And then at home, studio production, I mainly use the Montage. But when I'm doing local gigs or less stressful situations, um, the Modi X8 gives me the same engine as the uh, Montage, but I'm able to transport it a lot easier than the Montage because it doesn't weigh nearly as much. But you know, it has enough of the montage capabilities within it that allows me to still operate at a high level. So a few key differences in the Modi X Plus is the uh, pitch bin module. Now it has a smoother surface. Previously had more lines of rigid, but just like with the montage, it's really, it feels great. It's very, very comfortable. So you go to do it, it's just really, really fluid. As well as the internal memory, uh, typically had only been one gigabyte on the Modi X. Now it's 1.75 gigabytes, which is the same internal memory that you can get with the montage. And Yamaha, uh, was popularized heavily in the 80s with the DX7. So in the Modi X Plus, they have taken the FMX sounds and they have increased the polyphony on all of them to 128, which is the same thing you get in the montage. And that's significant um, because you're, you're closer and closer to that vintage sound that if you listen to the radio um, with a lot of sounds that's coming out, they're reaching back into that. And so um, as you are required to play live or in the studio and they want to recapture that, when you want to truly nail the essence of that, uh, the FMX is perfect for that. For example, here's the infamous DX7 sound. So on the Modi X Plus, they have live set. And so for me, uh, when I'm doing shows, it's way more easier for me to, in live set mode to set up all of my presets for every single song. And you can fit up to 16 in one screen and it enables you to tap 16 different sounds or scenes for every particular song. So I think that's very, very cool because now you don't have to fiddle around and jump around. You can literally just have one screen and it never moves for an entire show. You can smoothly move from each set that you have. And so I'm gonna demonstrate going from a piano, electric piano one, to a synth one. And what you'll still hear is you'll be able to hear the, the sustaining of the piano EP one while also going to the synth one so there won't be no lapse uh, sonically. Prior to this, I would have multiple boards and I would be stretched all over the place, sustaining it with a sustained pedal to try to hold on to that. But now I don't have to normally do that. I just have to create my sets and just have them set up and it's literally just a touch of a button, one touch. So you may not know, the Modi X Plus is actually its own uh, recording software. And in addition to that, it's also its own interface. So I can literally uh, record something while I'm playing here and then I can save it here and then I can also um, transport it to uh, you know any DAW, and so I think that's crucial because you know you can also be, always be sitting down at the piano just playing, and you want to get an idea down. So in the recording feature, um, you name it, you can do it. You can adjust the time signature, you can adjust the tempo, uh, you can even play to a, a click, a metronome. 
almonds. So I will demonstrate that just right now. Pretty cool, huh? And so let's just say the idea I laid down, you know, I may not be ready to complete it. I may try to figure out maybe that's whatever. So I'll just loop. We have your USB port, which is right here. And you can connect that to your computer. Remember, you're using the USB board as an interface. So uh, the USB volume monitor will allow you to adjust what you're hearing out of the USB port while you're still playing here. Um, and so I always think that's cool. So I'm gonna go through some of my go-to sounds that I have found already on the Modi X Plus. I'm always looking for a great piano, just a straight piano by itself. And uh, one of my go-tos is the CFX Concert. Looking for something that's light on my fingers, I can move around. As a good balance of high end, low end, you want to... you want to hear that bottom, you know, tone register. And one thing I've noticed about this is the the piano keys are heavier on the bottom end and then lighter on the top end. If you play it, it gets lighter as you go up. Um, also, they have this super knob, and so what the super knob does. And if you want to kind of get a feeling of like back of the room or get more space in the same sound, you can just twin it all the way to the left. So yeah, that's also a cool component. It's just all about seeing settings and just different varieties. Another one of my go-tos is a piano with a soft pad underneath. In other Yamaha boards, I have to created myself, but in the Modi X Plus, it, one already comes that I really like a lot. And you can manipulate that as well. Um, so the super knob again, if you want to get more pad and less piano, then you can turn it all the way to the right. that polyphony you haven't lost the polyphony um, you can still hear the piano elements even though you have a heavy pad on and of course if you want to get all that out of there and you know that's a good thing and then also um, because this particular sound has five layers on it you can adjust the faders and so on Modi X Plus the faders come in fours. So uh, for one through four, you have these four knobs. So if you want to go to anything after four, you just press one button and there you go. And so for this one, the pad is going to be on five. So I'm going to still play it and then I'm going to turn the pad down. All right, that kind of gives it, takes the highs out of it, you know, and um, or if I want some more of it. So just cool things that I go to. It's always good to have a, a good electric piano hybrid. So and there's another one that it's already in the board, uh, CFX plus FM EP. And so you can hear the, the EP, right? It's in there, you know? And if you want to hear more of it, you can also, that super knob, there it is again. Um, but if you want a little bit more piano, Left is piano, right is EP. So my go-to is R&B soft. Um, as soon as I hear, you hear how warm that is. You hear a little tremolo.
So it already has that natural tremolo. Now you're probably wondering, okay, what does a super knob do with a song like, sound like that that's already feeling like that? I'll show you. So as you can see, the super knob takes the tremolo out of it. Now you can also do that also with uh, the mod wheel. But as you heard, um, I don't know if you noticed, with the super knob, you get a little more deeper dive into that. I'm gonna go through some of my favorite um, synth pads. Poly synth pad, it's been in the library for years, for years, and so it's also on the Modi X Plus. So if you see me playing with these knobs up here, so I have 16 different effects that I can go through. I can go through my cutoff, my resonance, my pan, my predimento, my reverb, my release, my decay, all attack. All that is up here with the touch of one button. Uh, and each, each line, when you press this, you can just twist it and, and, and mess around with it. So if you're not looking for something smooth, um, Variety is also good with your uh, synth pads, and so here's a more of a gritty sound is uh, one of my favorites to go to is uh, Trance MW. So I'm gonna mess around with some of these um, effects so you can kind of hear the different dimensions of the texture that you can go with, so. So this, has, this naturally has a uh, long sustain on it. So and anytime you want to mess with the release, take the reverb down, take the release, and then you can get rid of that hole that's on it. So. If I put it back. You know, there's just, you know, so much you can do as far as uh, finding the specific sonic that you're going after. And that also extends to uh, the organ. I'll be honest with you, I'm very leery about um, playing organ on anything other than a B3. Uh, but on the Modi X Plus, I found one that's pretty, pretty, pretty cool and uh, kind of gives me what typically you would miss, which is just the warmness and the...
So the specific family of Yamaha has always appealed to me, coming from just strictly playing piano and then getting into keyboards. I love having the ability to still be a piano player while also tapping into being a keyboardist and layering sounds. And Yamaha has done a great job for my particular playing style while being able to still function as a piano player where I'm just solo piano stuff or, you know, playing with the band and having to layer strings, pads, synth leads, and a number of other things, even tracking at home and being able to uh, import samples and to create different sounds to give me a unique edge while I'm still trying to figure out how to create and get what I'm looking for. We're merely scratching the surface of what the Modi X Plus has to offer. I'm a big fan of the Modi X and the montage, and I can confidently say after sitting down with this Modi X Plus, it gets us closer and closer to being able to have a montage that's way more uh, portable and, and lighter and just easier uh, transporting. So the polyphony feature that I mentioned earlier and the 1.75 internal gigabytes, which matches the montage. So if you want to take a deeper dive, head over to your local GC or guitarcenter.com and, and just have a blast digging into it. And I'm confident you'll be just as impressed with it as I have been.